our December edition of what happened this month at Frank's Sleep Unit. But before we go into that, Isabelle's got the answer to a problem everybody can sympathize with this holiday season. Hey Falcons, it's December, and you know what that means, Christmas, and Christmas means wrapping presents. So today, I'm going to show you three different ways on how to wrap presents in a modern way. To start off, you are going to need something to watch the video on, postal wrapping paper, Christmassy wrapping paper, tape and twine, construction paper and a pencil, your present, and lastly, some scissors. Now we need to measure it and cut it and wrap it around the box and then tape it. Now we can take the twine and wrap it around the present for a very nice effect just like this. Now you cut the twine and wrap it around and under the rest of the twine and tie it all together. And here's the finished product. Now we'll need to be drawing and cutting out some holly. He got into a drifted bank and we Here's what you will need. Some white paint, a new pencil with a flat eraser, your present, the twine, construction paper, a scrap piece of paper, some ribbon, glue, and some scissors. We'll be putting the paint onto the scrap piece of paper so it has easy access. Now just dip the eraser part of the pencil into the paint and lightly dab it onto the present. Continue this until you feel satisfied with the amount of dots. Make sure that you do leave a space between each dot. Once it's dry, you can now take the twine and begin to wrap it around the present. Now we can start to glue on the holly right on top of where we've placed the tape, just to hide it. And here is the finished product. For this DIY, we will be choosing the first letter of the name of the person that this gift is for. So draw that out and then fill it in with white paint and let it dry. Once it has dried, you can finally start gluing on the holly pieces to the top right corner of the present. And that's it! As you can see, these gifts look very put together and it looks like a lot of time has been spent unwrapping them. Thanks for watching and see you next month, Falcons! What are you doing over Christmas break? Spending time with my family. Literally nothing. Sleep and eat food. No, I'm seeing family and seeing friends, seeing presents, and I'm hoping that it's gonna snow. Do the dirt snowman? Down in downtown with the old set. <laughs> Studying for English. Nafrio told me that this isn't a Christmas sweater, so I'm gonna go cry in a corner. Now, off to the talent show. <laughs>
What's your favorite part about Christmas? some of the clubs that Lieberman has in store for us for this Christmas season and what they're going to do. What is your current initiative in the club? So we are as initiative is to raise money for clean water. What is your club doing for the Christmas season? So every year in December we have an event called Winter Wonderland. A school-wide event in the cafeteria during both lunches where we have a bake sale, a photo booth, and sometimes it's a fashion show, but this year it's games on the stage. How do you think your club members and or the school is benefiting or learning from this event? Um, all of our money raised from Winter Wonderland goes to our initiative that we're working towards. So instead of focusing on the material things, we kind of get a chance to really focus on what Christmas is about and give back to our community. Now I would like to introduce you guys to a new activity happening here at Lieberman called Falcon Time. It'll be happening once a month. Falcon Time is run by developmental asset students as well as some teachers who would like to create a better school environment for students. Students are randomly selected from different grades and are put with one specific teacher. They will meet once a month for peer mentorship, teacher mentorship, bonding to school activities, and all this fun stuff that you guys will grow and learn together. Now here's a few clips that happened in our December Falcon time. our message from Falcon Time. Now, back to Brandon. A pretty clever addition to the high school experience. Round of applause to the people that thought of and Brandon Falcon Time. Now, let's keep things sitting on a high note. We'll send it back off to Rebecca with sports. Thanks, Brandon. Now we'll be talking about the sports here at Lieberman during the month of December. Mr. Beck is currently hosting tryouts for Junior Badminton. Here's a few clips. They played really well and came second in a tournament held at Lieberman. 
Here are a few games of their second place game. Senior Girls Volleyball coached by Mr. Luck. They played really well and won four out of the four games they've played. Here are a few clips from their Notre Dame game. Now on to the junior boys basketball team, coached by Miss Bot. They did exceptionally well against an opponent, Nia McNeil, and won a very well played game. Good job boys, and here are a few clips. the sports we have for this month of December. Can't wait to see you next month. Now back to Brandon in the studio. Bye! Well, unfortunately, our collaboration of what happened this month has come to a close. Hopefully, you enjoy watching the video as much as we enjoyed making it. This has been Lieberman Lately. Merry Christmas, Falcons. Merry Christmas, Falcon family. Happy New Year. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Christmas! Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas? Can you say Merry Christmas? Can you say Merry Christmas, buddy? Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas, everybody, and Happy New Year! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas, everybody! Merry Christmas! Rebecca, Isabel, Danielle, Richmond, Sierra, Chris. Ow. Ow. Okay, we need to watch that whole damn.